All right, we're here at uh, GDC on the show floor. This is Mike Taylor, who's going to be showing us something from Move Me, while John McCutcheon, also from SEA, will explain what's going on. You see he's got, uh, uh, Mike has these controllers in his hand, and he will be controlling with the Move this robot. Um, so can you explain how this is working, John? Sure. Uh, well, yesterday we announced the Move Me server application that you can install on your PlayStation 3. And what that does is over the internet, it sends the state of the Move controllers to any internet connected device, it could be a Mac, a PC, and you as an interested researcher or a tinkerer can write a program that receives this data over the internet and does something with it. So what Mike's showing you is a sample application that was written about two days by a woman in US R&D that takes the data from the move.me server transforms that into input that gets then, then gets sent to this robot. Right. Now you were explaining uh, basically uh, each of those move controllers uh, controls one wheel. Is yes. that how it works? Yeah, okay. I guess the analogy is that it works like a tank. So if the right controller is tilted forward, the right wheel starts spinning forward. And if you tilt it backwards, it goes in reverse. And then, of course, the left hand controls the left wheel. I got so you. So that you can spin in place, and there's a pinching gesture to control the corner. And you, you were telling me that there's a rumble that it can it can transmit yeah, as well? Yeah, so uh, the application that you write that communicates with the MoveMe server can send commands such as rumble the controller or change the sphere color to whatever you want. Very cool. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you.